creative activities and um, visual art uh, benefit people in multiple ways. It's many layered. On the one hand, you can lose yourself in an activity. It might involve um, repetitive actions. It can be very mindful. And in that way, it can take your mind completely away from a, a difficult situation you're in. And it's almost like charging a battery. When you go back, you know, to your situation, somehow you are stronger and more able to deal with it and, and start again. What well, makes you feel that you're kind of absorbed into another world? Um, sort of like, you just relaxed and um, creating some other um, image. I mean, the first time I encountered you was um, way back in whenever I up by the castle there, which was um, happened to be the week after my husband had died. Now, whilst I had done art before, but not for a long time, so going there that Monday, I shall cry if I'm not careful, uh, was a huge effort, as you might imagine. Uh, but it got me out every Monday to do something uh, and introduced me to some really lovely people and introduced me to other aspects of art which I'd never explored. I just end up feeling better, takes your mind off the things, and de stresses you, and you forget the picture of pain because it does help your health. Yeah, and some days, I think. You wake up and feel like you can't come because you're in pain or whatever, but mm. we come and we're glad that we came. Mm. And we don't get out much either, so mm -hmm. yeah, it's, a, it's something to aim for coming here every mm -hmm. every week and we know we're going to get out the house and mm. do stuff that we enjoy. So it gives you a, um, a routine, mm. a purpose to get up. Or something that you enjoy doing mm. and it helps you to connect with other people and, and not that you've been stuck in the house and been isolated um, and just enjoying each other's company and just getting relaxed and getting away from the stresses that you might be already doing at home say if you're a carer or something. Mm. You're sitting alongside people and conversation is much more natural than if you just sat opposite each other at a table and, and were asked about your feelings. So we tend to find that really strong form, uh, bonds form and people share and people support each other in ways that might not have been possible if it had been all about talking. See, art's been a big bit of my recovery. Um, from poor mental health and it's given me a focus as a weekly activity um, something something that I enjoy and when I'm at home I'm planning what I'm going to be doing in the workshops it keeps me focused a bit overworked and had a bit of a breakdown and I came back to Edinburgh because I was actually in London at the time. I got told why well, I could possibly do groups. And so I, yeah, I joined and I've been here ever since. It's quite relaxing, but I'm also being very productive. So that kind of how it helps me. I can enjoy the process, but also enjoy the sheer amount of work I've made afterwards. And I do like the fact that I've learned a ton of different techniques. And I can also just turn up and do whatever or take part in the class and also during lockdown it was really good to have the zoom sessions so even though they were an hour and we were kind of making zoom whatever we had in our house it was still good to meet up with everyone and kind of check in because at the time we didn't think it was going to be that long and i think if we hadn't checked in then we would have kind of really lost a lot more people coming back and stuff because it just would have been harder to come back I have seen very big changes. Some people who arrived in groups and were, were really anxious, barely spoke, um, and, and over time um, have increased in confidence so much that they have become real leaders in the group. 
and it's really great seeing people develop things over a long period of time, gaining new skills and then building on it, um, and getting the confidence to do something with those skills later. Yes, you can lose yourself in that environment, but you're also finding yourself again. You're finding out what your interests are. You're finding out what your capabilities are. Um, you're finding ways that you can um, put things in place that will really last a lifetime, um, much longer than the two hours that you might be part of a group.